Have you ever wondered what you'd look like with a different hairstyle? Well, today we're gonna show you how to do it in Photoshop. Hey there, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. Today we're using artificial intelligence to generate new hairstyles in Photoshop. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump in. So we're starting off with this sample image. In this case, I just basically want to take our subject's hair and uh, put it down. I wanted to see the subject with long hair. So the first thing we're going to do is just select this uh, bun from our subject. We're using our lasso tool. I'm going to go up here to where it says generative fill. We're not going to type in anything at all and click on generate. Basically, this is me telling the AI I just want to remove this bun just because it sticks out a little bit. So once we remove that, then we can make a new selection and then type in here. And that's totally fine right there. Basically, just made it smaller. So now, again, using our lasso tool, L for the lasso tool right here, we're just going to make a selection and kind of come right down here in this area, kind of go right back up there and then connect to the original hair. All right. Now, if you need to alter your selection, you can hold Alt or Option, and that's going to minus out. If you want to add to your selection, you hold Shift, and that's going to allow you to add to your selection. There we go. And I just want to get, like, basically what would be the shape of, like, nice long hair. There we go. And that looks pretty good. So we just have a selection about what we would like the hair to look like. Let's click up here on Generative Fill, and we're just going to type in Long Hair, and then click on Generate. So basically, this is going to use information from this photo to generate hair that should look basically like this subject's hair in the shape that we selected with our lasso tool. All right. And here you can see it's almost done generating. In this case, it kind of put it behind the subject's uh, shoulders, which I don't mind. We have a few different options here. You can see it kind of knows that our subject maybe has some wet hair. Now, if you want to, you can click right here on Generate. This is in your Properties panel, and it's going to go ahead and generate a few new options for you. This is, I want something a little bit cleaner than this. This hair looks just a little bit, like, messy for, for my taste. That Hey, that looks really good. So here we have a few, it read my mind. <laughs> here we have a few different options, and there we go. That's our subject with long hair, and I think it looks really good, totally realistic. So let's go back to our layers. There's our before subject's hair is in a bun, and here's the after with long hair. Really cool. Now, moving on to our next image, Hairstyle 02. In this case, our subject is just wearing a hat. It's a cool hat, but maybe they say, ah, I, wanna, I wish this photograph didn't have that hat. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and select out the hat. Again, we're just using the lasso tool, L for the lasso tool. We want to make sure to include the shadow from the hat, okay? We don't want that to be present either. And then we're just going to click on Generative fill and then we're just going to click on generate if you don't type anything in it's just going to assume that it wants you to remove whatever you selected in this case it's going to assume that we want to remove that hat and put whatever it thinks it would be under there in this case it's the hair that looks really cool now like if we look at the before we can see just a tiny bit of pink hair kind of sticking out there from our original subject and here in the after it knew that there was a little bit of pink hair and kind of extended that into this after image and i think it looks really really good of course then you could put a different hat or whatever you had on there but you know really really cool options for just adding new hair and it looks fantastic so now let's move into our third example. In this case, we're going to work on facial hair. So here's our subject looking really good. I want to see what he would look like with uh, a mustache. So we're going to use the lasso tool and make a selection right around here, making sure not to include his lips, right? We want to make sure that, you know, his lips are like from the original photograph. All right, let's make that a little bit bigger. Just giving enough space to where it can bring that mustache in. We'll just go up to generative fill and type in mustache and click on generate. Now, it's going to use the hair, like the color of our subject's hair. Uh, it knows that. It analyzes that. It's going to use that same color. And it's going to try to use the density, too. So you can see this is, we have uh, a few different mustaches. Like, the hair density on his face isn't, like, incredibly dense. So it's kind of mirroring that on, you know, on the mustache. Now, I can go in here to the prompt here in my properties. And let's just type in, there we go. I'm going to type in full mustache and then click on generate and see what it gives me. So if you want to, you can kind of force it to say like, I want more hair here. Like I want this to be a more full mustache and we'll see what it gives us. There we go. And in these cases, these mustaches look a little bit more full. And I think that looks good, man. You look good with a mustache. I'm digging it. 
Alrighty. So now let's go ahead and move into our fourth and last example. In this case, we're going to change our subject's hairstyle, just maybe get a little bit more clean. And we're going to show you how to add some color as well. So here's our image. We're going to grab our lasso tool. L for the lasso tool. Let's just go ahead and select this. I'm just going to do this in parts here. You can hold shift and go ahead and select the second part there. All right. Perfect. That looks pretty good. And I'm just going to leave that. That looks pretty good. So let's go to generative fill up here on the top left. And we're just going to, I'm going to type in fancy haircut to start with. Basically, you know, just trying to like make it a little bit more of like a, like a styled haircut. There we go. And we'll see what it gives us. And then in just a second, that's really cool. Giving me like Billie Eilish vibes there. There we go. Fancy haircut. I really like that. I, I think that totally works good. Now, if we did go with that with a fancy haircut, uh, in this case, I would just kind of select this part out there. Boom. And then we'll just type in the same thing. Fancy haircut and hit enter. And hopefully it kind of like matches the style. So you can see it's using the same subjects. It's using the same color hair, the same like, like style of hair, but it's just giving us like a little bit of a fancier cut to it. And there we go. That looks really, really good. So let's go ahead and group those. So here we see we have like just a little bit of a fancy, maybe it's straightened hair. Okay. So that's our first option. And then we're going to go with another option. Same subject here. Let's grab our lasso tool. And in this case, we're just going to select uh, this area from our subjects here. We're going to leave it like most of the selection here. And there we go. And we're just going to type in, she's wearing like these nice blue jeans. So we're going to type in blue hair and hit enter there just to show you, you can kind of play around and do a few different styles with the hair. All right, here it's almost done generating. And this is so much fun. <laughs> if you want to see what you'd look like if you had a shaved head, you could do that. If you want to look like, you know, I'm thinking about dyeing my hair blue, uh, you could do that as well. Cool blue hair. I'm totally digging this. Let's go ahead and click on generate to get a few more options. So if you're thinking about dyeing your hair color or maybe you want to like shave your head or something like that, basically you can take a picture of yourself, like make a selection there and then see what you might look like with different hairstyles. I think that looks super, super cool. So again, we have a few different options here. We have our subject with like a little bit of a fancy hairstyle here that we put in. And then we have also our subject with blue hair. So we can see how using artificial intelligence can completely change our hair, which can change our photographs. And it's a fun thing that you can do to kind of experiment on yourself. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give us a big thumbs up if you did, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.